And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Six days later, Jesus took with them Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his clothes became dazzling bright, such as no one on earth could brighten them. And there appeared with him Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us have three tents, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. I am God's son, the beloved. Listen to me. You are God's son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the resurrection of the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. Then they asked him, Why did the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Elijah must come first to restore all things. How then is it written about the Son of Man that he is to go through many sufferings and be treated with contempt? But truly I tell you, Elijah has come. And they did to him whatever they pleased. When they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them and some scribes arguing with him. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe, and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered, Teacher, 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 I brought you my child. She has a spirit that makes her unable to speak. And whenever it seizes her, it dashes her down and she foams and grinds her teeth. I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. He said to them, You faithless generation, How long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring her to me. And they brought the child to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the girl. And she fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. She cried out, Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening? He said, From childhood. It has often cast her into the fire and into the water to destroy her. But if you are able to do anything, help us. Have compassion on us. Jesus said, If you are able, all things are possible for the one who believes. 
Immediately, the father of the child cried out, I believe, I believe, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd came running together again, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, I command you, spirit that keeps her from speaking and listening, come out and never enter her again. After crying out and convulsing her terribly, it came out, and her body was like a corpse, so that most of them said, she's dead. But Jesus took her by the hand and lifted her, and she was able to stand. When he was in the house, the disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? He said to them, this kind can only come out through prayer. For the word of God in scripture. For the word of God among us. For the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.